Good afternoon to our Zoom and YouTube viewers, and welcome to our career exploration program for grade 12 students and parents. I am Ms. Grace Gallardo Gonzalez from the Guidance, Counseling, and Career Services Office, and I will be your program host. Please allow me to mention a few reminders before we proceed with the program. For our Zoom participants, please turn off your camera and microphone whenever you enter our Zoom meeting to avoid any interruptions during the live stream. Then, for our presenters during the part of the program, please turn your microphone and camera on so our dear students and their parents can clearly see and hear you during your presentation. For any questions and concerns, please use our Zoom chat button. Each college is given 10 minutes to tell us more about their offered program. So for our dear students, please enjoy their presentation and send us your questions through our Zoom chat box for them to be addressed later during the open forum. For our program speakers, please be reminded that, we'll, that we will be sending the prompt for the remaining five minutes of your presentation through our Zoom chat box. And lastly, may we request our college representatives to kindly stay after your presentation for the open forum. Now for our YouTube viewers, the activity evaluation will be posted in our YouTube comment section, as well as in our GCCSO Facebook page. So please keep yourself tuned in until the end of our program. Let us utilize the comment section of our YouTube live stream, live stream and send us your questions about the program for them to be addressed later during the open forum. And so let us begin our career exploration program with an opening prayer to be followed by the Philippine National Anthem. Cheers. 
give a warm welcome to the Director of the Guidance, Counseling, Career Services Office, Dr. Maria Leonila V. Orea, who shall read the welcome message of our UE Manila Chancellor, Dr. Louis de Vinagracia. It's my pleasure to read the welcome uh, remarks of our dear Chancellor. Dear grade 12 students and parents, a pleasant day to all. We are pleased to virtually welcome you to the school's Career Exploration Day. This important event was organized especially for you, so we are committed to assist you for an important decision, career preparation. You will be given the opportunity to meet online the friendly representatives from each of the colleges of the university. Each of them will briefly share with you valuable insights to succeed in your future college life. They will also present a variety of degree programs that you can choose from. Thereafter, you will be given the time to freely interact with them. Our guidance counselor at the same time will be around to facilitate and encourage a lively exchange of ideas. As you patiently work through senior high school to college, the health pandemic has brought about unprecedented changes to your student life, as well as expectations towards the future. The University of the East will enable you to successfully navigate your college life and brighten your career. We are preparing toward a safe return to campus as the situation improves. On behalf of Principal Nieva Disipolo and her team, as well as uh, Dr. Nila Orea, yours truly, and the Guidance counselors, we look forward to a fruitful and productive event. We sincerely appreciate for sharing your precious time and presence with us. Good afternoon. Thank you, Dr. Urea, and to Dr. Divina Gracia for the warm welcome. Let's now proceed to the most anticipated part of this program, the presentation of the different colleges of the University of the East. First up, let us welcome Dr. Gary D., the Program Chair of the Department of Behavioral Sciences, to present to us the College of Arts and Sciences. Good afternoon. Thank you, Ma'am Grace. Uh, uh, good afternoon, Dr. Yonina Irea, the Director of the Guidance Office for the School Officials, uh, beloved deans, uh, representative of the different colleges, our hardworking guidance counselors, 
our parents who are listening and watching right now, and of course, to our students. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I would like to share with you a simple idea about seven reasons why you should go to college, even if at times you're still unsure of what to take, right? Uh, especially among our students, number one, going to college would mean it would expand your worldview. You would learn with people who are very different from you. You would gain knowledge on a different perspective. Number two, you would pursue your interests and passions. You have your own interests, you have your own passion, and we have professors from the University of the East who has master's degree and doctorate degrees. Right? Number three, you can figure out what you believe. Of course, once that you're in college, you would be challenged by people. You would be challenged by the books. And of course, you would be challenged by the lectures of your professors. You may agree, you may disagree, but the thing is, you would be able to figure out what you believe. Number four, you would also form meaningful relationships. These relationships would form network and connection that will be helpful in your profession. You also gain experience and bring this experience to your chosen career. Number six, you would learn transferable skills, become a better critical thinker, and to be able to work well with others. And of course, you would be able to earn higher salary. Education is an investment. You earn better with a college degree. Staying in college allows one to get a degree which is vital for better job opportunities. It would increase earning potential, improve your self-esteem and your self-concept, and to be able to have a more fulfilling career. We at the College of Arts and Sciences would want to partner with you with the different careers that is suited to your skills. I'm going to be presenting a video which would offer the different courses offered in the College of Arts and Sciences and the different job opportunities that you might want to enjoy. So take a look at our clips and I suppose you'll be able to choose and to be able to look into what you would want to have in your profession. Play video, please.
the College of Arts and Sciences, we are offering different courses that would be suiting your skills from HRM, tourism, psychology. We, we, we have board exams. Uh, it's, it's a pre-medicine course. Uh, we have top notchers. We're doing well in the board examinations. You have legal management and all other different courses. Here in UE, we would really want to partner for your success. You can always dream, but here in our university, we will help you set goals in life. So I would like to welcome everyone. I hope to see everyone join us at the College of Arts and Sciences. Good afternoon, everyone. Magandang hapon po. See you around. Thank you, Dr. D. And to Dean Justina M. Evangelista of the College of Arts and Sciences, Dr. D will be staying with us for the open forum. So if you have any questions, send them in through your YouTube live comment section and our Zoom chat box. Now, let us hear from the College of Business Administration to be presented by Professor Lindley John Messina. So let's give him a warm welcome. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you, Ms. Grace, and uh, thank you also to UEGCCSO. So, hello, Sun Warriors. Uh, I know you guys are looking forward by now to your college journey and careers with the guidance, of course, of your parents. So, let me take you to our college uh, where I graduated BS in Accountancy. And currently, I'm a faculty member of the Department of Accountancy, Business Law, and Taxation. So without further ado, may I present to you the College of Business Administration. Let's watch, let's watch the video. Welcome to the home of the UE Red Warriors, the University of the East Manila Campus, College of Business Administration, where you can experience student life in full bloom amidst and beyond uncertainties. Founded as the mother unit of the University of the East, the UE College of Business Administration Manila started as a CPA review school in September 1946. Within over 70 years, the UE College of Business Administration has produced more 350 top blazers in the CPA board examinations. 29 of these are first blazers, while at least 50 have been second or third blazers. The rest of the top blazers earned the fourth to ten slots. The College of Business Administration is committed to provide equal opportunities in equal business education. Let your tomorrow begin in the East. It is a goal for the University of the East College of Business Administration to inculcate in every student academic excellence, professionalism, and social responsibility. And here are the College of Business Administration curricular offerings.
to help you unlock opportunities to learn more about yourself, your goals, your passions, and your strengths, here are the CBA Registered Student Organizations. The College of Business Administration takes pride of its students who brought great honor to the institution through their significant and relevant achievements in various fields. UE is one of the Philippines' leading universities, having produced for 75 years over a million alumni who have made their marks as leaders and achievers in various fields of endeavor across the country and around the world. 
Let your tomorrow begin in the College of Business Administration Manila here in the East, the University of the East. Okay, uh, the college offers uh, different degree programs from accountancy and then management accounting and business uh, administration. So you can either choose uh, marketing, or financial management, business management, or business uh, economics. So as you can see with our uh, video presentation, uh, students and even the alumni are active yeah, and continues to bring uh, pride and honor to the uh, university. So thank you so much for watching Student Warriors and your parents. And of course, uh, I hope to see you around the College of Business Administration. And join us, of course, and be one of the future uh, business leaders. Truly, tomorrow begins in the East. Thank you and stay safe, everyone. Thank you, Professor Messina, and to Dean Veronica Elizalde of the College of Business Administration. Now, this time, let us welcome the College of Computer Studies and Systems and through the representative, Professor Mark Anthony Uy. graduated at University of the East, CCSS, batch 2010. I currently work here in Singapore as a software engineer at Apple. My current job is to develop, maintain, ensure the reliability of software systems used by Apple factories around the world during the manufacturing process. I also maintain application systems that deliver important software updates to consumers such as iOS and device activations. I'm fortunate enough to visit several countries where the actual assembly lines and distribution systems are located and see face-to-face -face how the company is building the greatest consumer products in the world. Graduating in an internationally recognized school such as my alma mater, UE CCSS, gave me the advantage in terms of educational qualifications and the necessary skill set that I need to compete with the industry. As a student at CCSS, I'm able to express myself through a variety of student organizations that cultivated my social abilities. I gained a lot of friends with our students and my professors. It's like a family spirit in the making, where everyone is willing to help one another. In my senior year, that is when I truly feel that this college is really preparing me to what is to come is what will happen after graduation. I remember we had activities where we conduct ourselves like a team of software developers where everyone has a role. We attended interviews, we presented our software projects, and we presented from a panel of professors and industry professionals at the time. It's really exciting, challenging, excruciating, but at the same time it's a wonderful experience that we have done together with my friends. After graduation, our dean Danny Marida recommended me at Sun Microsystems, a company that created Java, where I had my first job. From there, it really elevated me from where I am now. 
and all that, I owe a big gratitude to the faculty and staff of the University of the East College of Computer Studies and Systems. Thank you. Ayan. Good afternoon, people. I would like to introduce myself again. I am Mark Anthony Uwe. I'm assistant. I am an assistant professor in the College of Computer Studies and Systems. You can call me Sir Mao. Ayan. I am a networking professor. I handle subjects about computer networks. I am also a freelance software engineer, and and I am a multimedia designer. <laughs> Nagbabakel. Next slide, please. So. We are all here actually to help you with your decision, and that is choosing your course in college. Uh, well, it is really a tough decision, de ba? Because the course you're going to take will, you know, have a lot of say on the career or profession you will pursue. So before I present our programs in CCSS, I just want to share with you these few things. So una, you need to find. Something new that you're good at, so you can actually face yourself in the mirror. Tapos, hmm, sikana. Hindi mo sabi niya yung joke lang. You can face yourself in the mirror and assess your strengths and your talents. So, for example, pagluluto, o kaya you learned baking during the pandemic, so you go for culinary. O kaya when you when during the pandemic struck us, you started a small business, de ba? Ituloy mo na, kuha ka ng BSBA. Or if you find yourself good at figuring how things work, you might want to take IT diba? or engineering. So I think dapat, interesado ka talaga muna. Kasi this will tell if magiging passionate ka ba sa ipapursue mong career or not. So think about your interests and your willingness to learn. Um, another is to maximize your talents. So sabi nga ni Johan Wolfgang, The person born with the talent they are meant to use will find their greatest happiness using it. And of course, lastly, what are your life goals? Ano ba yung goals mo sa buhay? Kasi future mo na yung pinag-uusapan eh. ba? Diba? Do you want to pursue a career ba based on your passion? Based on your lifelong dreams? Or do you want to pursue a career that will give you financial security. So if you're still having uncertainties until now, you still have time pa naman, um, you just need to explore all your options. Of course, you need to choose well and you just need to hope for the best. Hey? Okay, next slide. So I have a quick game here. So what are these numbers? Ano kaya tong mga numbers na to? 703, 25, 355, or 06, 732, any guess? Uh-huh. Wow, kala mo may naririnig talaga. So these are actually annual salaries of uh, various IT careers. These are in thousands, ha? So 703,000 per year. Sige, let's have the next slide. So according to uh, this website, The average salary in the Philippines of IT uh, careers is around 460,000 plus. So again, if you're looking for financial security, you might want to to look at, de ba, taking IT. Pero sure, not not enough yung getting a degree. Bahala kasi sabihin yun ay gusto kong maging mayaman someday, so I'll take IT. Not enough lang yung degree. Sure, you have to. Work hard on it. Kailangan mong ipakita din sa employer na you have the necessary skills that they need for you to, you know, for you to receive this kind of money. <laughs> Next, hey, so meron tayong ano dito? Uh, average salary uh, according to your roles and 
versus to your experiences. So in my case, unahin ko yung sarili ko. Sa networking yan, if you can see the infrastructure, we have a really high-paying job. Hey, actually, nilabas na rin to sa Philippine Star, if I'm not mistaken, that IT is one of the highest-paying jobs around the world. So we have programmers, we have developers. So if you are a senior programmer, and take note ha, wala kaming board exam. Okay, so pagka-graduate, if you have the necessary skills, you may look for a job and start your career. Diba? Tapos, eventually, mabilis naman ng promotion sa ID if you have earned um, enough number of experiences. Yan, pwede ka na maging senior. Imagine ninyo, 92,000. Monthly to ha, this is monthly. Okay, so an average uh, salary could be around 20,000 per month. Okay? So, ayun. Now, let's proceed to the College of Computer Studies and Systems. I, of course, I take pride in saying this, that UE, uh, CCSS, the youngest college in Manila, is recognized by the Commission on Higher Education as Center of Excellence in IT Education. So, it only means that UE CCSS is at par with the big four universities. So we are offering quality IT education. And not only IT, ha? when we say IT education, it encompasses everything. Kasama na doon yung iba naming programs bukod sa IT. So let's start with this one. So pag nag-enroll kayo sa UECCSS, sure naman tayo na meron tayong quality education and at the same time, meron tayong academic partnerships and linkages with the big Um, technological companies like Microsoft. We also have Google. Hinihingal ako, hindi ko alam kung bakit. We also have Oracle, um, SAS, Pearson Education, and meron din tayong partnership. So, UE uh, through CCSS is the first academic institution partnered uh, na binigyan, sorry, na binigyan ng partnership ng International Game Developers Association. And that is because of the game development program that we have. Okay, next slide. So, ayan, kung titignan niyo yung roster ng faculty, I belong to this one, syempre. All in all, we are 21 uh, faculty members. All of us, of course, have earned our master's degree, our respective master's degree, for of which... Um, Meron na silang doctorate degrees and 17 yung natitira, nagtitake sila ng doctoral degrees. Okay? Next, please. Ayan. Punta tayo dun sa CCSS academic programs. First up, if you want to learn AI, choose UE ComSci. Ayan. So you need to, di ba, when, when, when we think of ComSci, ah, yan yung higher level ng ID. Pero actually, um, mas advanced lang sa ng onte, okay? Kasi when it comes to ComSci, you are uh, you are learning, de ba? The algorithms, the necessary uh, tools for you to design and develop the next big computing solution. Of course, by utilizing the computing tools and yung acquired technical skills na mahukuhan niya from UE. So si ComSci people And my dear parents, ang UE ComSci po ay accredited ng Pakukowa Level 4. That's the highest uh, accreditation that any BSCS program can get. Okay? Ayan. ComSci. Next, we also have... Ah, sorry. So these are the professions or careers after, you know, getting ComSci. Software engineer, parang si Joseph Bagnes kanina. Although IT siya, pero... He is a software engineer at Apple. Uh, what else? Computer programmer, research and development computing. Next. We also have IT. Yeah, IT is the future. So IT is essential. It's a game changer. So when we were struck by the pandemic, all major businesses shifted to online platforms. And ngayon, di ba, we have online bankings, online currencies. And thanks to... IT. Ayan. So, if you want to become IT professional someday, you may take our BSIT program. Level 3 ang BSIT namin. Next, please. 
palisan natin. So we have this professions or careers. So pwede kayong maging junior database administrator. You can be a web and applications developer, ID audit personnel, yeah, junior systems administrator. This is the newest program that we offer. So UEBS Data Science. So the world is in need of data scientists and the world is um, demanding data uh, analysts, data scientists. So data science is the study of data and methodologies, processes, algorithms, and systems for collecting, refining, storing, and of course, analyzing data to arrive at useful insights and knowledge. So like, para magkaroon kayo na idea, next slide please, like Google Analytics and FB Analytics, they measure um, web and social media campaigns. So tinitignan nila doon your organic likes, yung mga reactions, yung mga negative comments, yung mga hate comments, saan nang gagaling, and, then, then, and from there, they drive impactful in, uh, strategies. Another example is yung sa Okta Research, di ba? The reason why they can predict the trend of COVID-19 cases is because of the data. Kung, kung tataas ba siya or bababa in the next few weeks, that is because of data science. Okay? So, my dear parents, this is a socially relevant field of endeavor. So, if you feel that your child is into computers, uh, tingin nyo may future yung anak nyo po pagdating sa, sa computers, this is one of the... Uh, in-demand careers in the next few years. So you can find plenty, actually, of careers and opportunities across all industries. Hindi lang sa pagdating sa ID, IT lang. Pag data scientists, yan, meron tayo sa business, education, sa energy, sa transpo, sa health, sa international development, sa economic development, and all these things. Okay, next slide. We also offer... Ayan, sige, we skip that. We also offer information systems. So maybe you have ideas in your mind that can be the next online payment platform or the next automated authenticity checker of COVID vaccination cards. Or guys, if you're torn between getting a BA, business ad degree, or IT, choose information systems. Combination yan ng dalawa. Okay? Next. These are the potential careers, system analysts, yeah, so, uh, systems administrator, IT consultants, etc. Now, we are down with our last two programs. So we have BS Entertainment and Multimedia Computing. When this was launched across the, the nation, siya yung kauna-unahan. So UE first offered BS EMC with specializations in digital animation. So if you want to express yourself through the arts and you are a imaginative person, let your vision come to life with the help of technology. So may 2D, may 3D animation. If you want to create, if you want to have um, portfolios of your um, drawings, so maging manga artist or kaya maging animator, take digital animation. And then there's another specialization it's called game development. So, level up your dreams, select your own quest, and unlock all possibilities. So, this is another specialization of our BS EMC program. And we feel that games should not be just played. Um, you can develop yours, diba? Unveil the power of your imagination. So, you can actually join or enroll with our game development uh, program and unleash the creative Ness. <laughs> Creativeness in you. So, pwede ka mag-design ng characters mo, ng sarili mong level. So, actually, for you to have an idea on our VS EMC program, please watch this. <laughs> Welcome to Entertainment and Multimedia Computing Department, where we offer two specializations, Digital Animation
and game development. Bachelor of Science in Entertainment and Multimedia Computing with specializations in Digital Animation. It is a study and application of fundamental and advanced theories and advanced techniques in 2D and 3D animation, use and development for advancement of animation technologies. Game development, it is the study and application of fundamental and advanced theories in game design, scientific simulations, use and development of gaming technology and tools, and production of commercially acceptable digital games and viable solutions for use in entertainment and scientific applications. Work opportunities for digital animation, creative programmer, technical animator, creative content developer, ad builders, technical director for modeling, rigging, lighting, animation quality assurance specialist, technical director for game art, Digital 2D or 3D Animation Content Producer Digital 2D or 3D Production Designer For Game Development Lead Game Programmer Developer Tools Developer Associate Technical Director Game Designer Associate Game Quality Assurance Specialist Senior Interactive Software Developer Associate Game Producer Senior Game Sound Engineer Graphics Programmer Associate Business Development Specialist for Entertainment and Multimedia Industries Ayan. So before I end my talk, I would like to extend my advanced congratulations to all the parents who are here with us. And of course, to our grad waiting senior high school students. Enroll any of our programs and see where UECCSS will take you. Thank you very much for listening. See you next year, future CCSS Warriors. Thank you, Sir Mao. Kaya ka kinakabahan kasi sobrang excited ka to talk about CCSS. Okay. <laughs> and now, yes. And uh, thank you for the presentation. You truly proved that the UACCSS is a center of excellence in IT education. And also many thanks to our uh, dean of the CCSS, Dean Maria Teresa Baribor. Now, let us take a quick break from the presentation of the colleges. So may I call on Director Edilberto Sulat Jr., the Director of the Marketing and University Relations Department for the contest time. Sir Bert? Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Magandang araw mga kapwa mandirigma, lalo na sa ating mga mandirigmang mag-aaral ng pamantasan ng silangan. Naway okay kayong lahat. On behalf of the UE Marketing and University Relations Department, we thank you for being there and for being with UE. Let's have a bit of a break with this little contest for all of you grade 12 warrior students who are with us right now. The contest is simply this. Please message us through the UE Manila GCCSO Facebook page your best and honor, uh, uh, best honest and sincere answer to this one question. What is your desired career or profession and how will studying in UE help you get it? I repeat, what is your desired career or profession and how will studying in UE help you get it. You may answer compellingly 
in English or in Filipino. Pwede po bang mag-taglish, you might ask. Okay, but please keep the taglishness to a minimum so that your answer would be uh, more formal sounding. Clarity is crucial, as is simplicity. As in, please limit your answer to three or four paragraphs. And your answer must be messaged to the UE Manila GCCSO Facebook page not later than 30 minutes right after this webinar. We will pick two winning entries. The prize per winner is a special UE shirt, which each winning student will receive this month by a delivery. No need to come over to the campus. All of you, dear UE Manila grade 12 students who are tuned in right now are welcome to join, even if you are outside Metro Manila, but only top, the top two entries will win. Uh, and in providing your answer, please uh, provide this full list of uh, details for our reference. Number one, your full name. Number two, your UE Manila Senior High School section, track and strand. Number three, your answer to the question. Number four, your full delivery address, including nearby landmarks and or pinnable delivery, de delivery details uh, for the rider who will deliver the shirt. Number five, your mobile number. And number six, your shirt size. That's it. That's it. We look forward to your answers, dear students. Thank you. Take care. And we look forward to welcoming you next school year as College Warriors, where your tomorrow should continue to begin. Dito sa Pamantasan ng Silangan, here in the East, the University of the East. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Bert, for that very exciting contest time. So what are you waiting for, guys? Send us your answers now in our UE Manila GCCSO Facebook page and be one of the two lucky winners to receive their special UE shirt. So let me just repeat the question. What is your desired career slash profession and how will studying in UE for college help you get it? Okay. All right. So we'll be waiting. And now, let's continue getting to know more about the different UE colleges. So next up is the College of Dentistry to be presented by Dr. Aina Sinagpulo. Good afternoon, everyone, and to all grade 12 students and our dear parents. I am Dr. Aina Sinagpulo, a faculty member of the University of the East College of Dentistry. And I am here today to give you some background about our college. Next slide, please. Ah, so, well, uh, I'm showing you this picture no? and ask you something. What is the first thing that you noticed in this picture? And why am I asking you this? Okay, so take a good look. Next slide, please. So why dentistry is important? It's because even though he's missing an eyebrow, no, the first thing you will notice is his smile. Dentists, next slide please. So dentists are healthcare professionals specializing in oral cavity. We are also frontliners. Especially during this time of pandemic, a lot of people are seeking treatment and realize that we dentists no, are also important part of your overall health. Now the College of Dentistry are offering three programs. Next slide please. The dental technology with a two-year program and six months OJT, the undergraduate with six-year program, and the graduate studies with a three-year program. Now, there are a lot of dental colleges in the Philippines. Next slide, please. Yeah. But the question is, why UE? Okay. So because UE is ranked number one nationwide as the best dentistry school in the Philippines. Okay. And we have students who are consistently board placers in the licensure examination from May 2013, 2015, December 2015, year 2016 from May and December 2017, May 2018, December 2018, and yung 2019, which is the last no, um, 
most recent dental board exams. So from 2013, which is my batch, up to the most recent, no, the 2019 December, we have been placing in the dental licensure examination. And not only that, okay, next slide, please. Okay, we also have graduates from the dental technology program that placed number one and number three in their licensure. And we have proven you know, from history the, of the dental board examinations that UE graduate students are world class and we are a center of excellence too. Okay, so yes, next slide, please. Yeah. So only number seven is missing, only number nine is missing. You know, so top notchers. And we even have a perfect score you know, from first to 10th place in the dental board examination. Overall, we have a total of 49 first placers and a total of 546 top notchers from 1950 to 2019. And additional here is the two dental technology licensure examinations. Now, if a career in healthcare appeals to you, but several years, extra years of school doesn't, now, the dental technology program is a field that you might want to explore and become a registered dental technologist. The dental laboratory technology is both yes, wait lang po, no? uh, it's both science and an art, just like a dental program, since each patient's needs are different. So we cater to different patients. The duties of the dental laboratory technicians are comprehensive and varied. So what is the role of the dental technologist in the dental team? Again, you will become a licensed dental professional. We, who constructs custom-made dental prosthesis or yung mga postiso, crowns for your dentist. Now, now, the dental technology NC4 program, next slide please, is two years, six months OJT program. This is recognized by the Professional Regulations Commission or the PRC. Also, the program in our university is CHED and TESTA accredited. So when you graduate from UE, you will be qualified to take the test, the accredited examinations to receive the national certificate. And fortunately, you know, for our university, we are NC4. So that means you are, or you are um, qualified you know, to take the two examinations, the fixed denture restorations and the removable denture appliances. Next slide, please. Yeah. So these are examples of our students' work. And, and another one, no? so yung postizo and yung crown. All right, so, and if you want to become a licensed dentist, the UE College of Dentistry is also offering a six-year degree program in Doctor of Dental Medicine. Now, with our own college building, yeah. next slide, please. Yeah. And then we have our own library, a different kind of setup of classrooms and the state of the art facilities laboratories classroom and even in the clinics and we even have you no know, um, individual lockers for all our clinicians not only with the state of the art facilities in the ue college of dentistry the students are trained by professors who receive their training and education from all over the world. Again, we have laboratory work activities for our dental technology students. A lot of dental laboratories work. And hands-on laboratory activities for our undergraduate dental students, even before they go to the clinics and work you know, uh, on live patients, such as dental extractions and we, you know, the faculty, make sure that our students could handle a lot of different cases throughout their undergraduate training. But we are not only honing the dental skills of our students, but we also cultivate an environment for social learnings and for families away from home because we also consider the College of Dentistry as our second home. From classrooms, to the different organizations that are recognized by the University of the East. We are also active in the National Dental Health Month, UE Foundation Week, 
and we even have organized hundreds of dental missions throughout the years. Next slide, please. And just like in the dental board examinations, we, the College of Dentistry, also have a lot of Mr. and Miss UE in our belt. Hashtag beauty and brains. Next slide. Yeah. So after you graduate, there are a lot of different career opportunities for you. No, you could be your own boss, be part of den private dental partnerships or group practices, government institutions, be part of private companies. You could go to research or even part of the academe just like me. Uh, together with our Dean Rodora, Dean Rodora H. Luciano and our associate Dean Dr. Blisilda K. Formantes, Again, I am Dr. Aina Sinagpulo, inviting you all to be part of our One Family, One UECB, and enroll this coming school year at the UE College of Dentistry. Thank you, and have a good day. Thank you, Dr. Sinagpulo, for introducing the UE College of Dentistry and showing the caliber of UE Dentistry graduates. Uh, thank you very much also to Dean Rodora Lushan of the College of Dentistry. Now, from one center of excellence to another, let us get to know more about the UE College of Education to be presented by their college coordinator, Professor Joanne Gresha. Hi, magandang buhay sa ating lahat. Ako si Professor Joan, Je uh, Joan Gresha of the College of Education. The College of Education aims to develop highly qualified teachers coaches and other related uh, professions in uh, sports sciences and PE, and also nutritionist dietitians. To help you become uh, acquainted with the College of Education, please watch this. Magandang buhay! Mabuting tao! Tama! Ganyan ang paraan ng pagbati sa ating kolehiyo. Tama! Kaya naman, welcome to College of Education! Ang kolehiyo ng edukasyon ay isa sa mga unang kolehiyo sa pamantasan ng silangan. Ang ating kolehiyo ay nakapagpatapos na rin ng maraming guro, sports specialists, nutritionists, at dietitians. Ang ilan sa mga guro nyo ngayon sa senior high school ay graduate mula sa ating kolehiyo at alam namin kitang kita sa kanila na mula sila sa College of Education. Iba at natatani talaga ang upbringing ng ating mga professionals na galing sa ating kolehiyo. Solid! Totoo yan, Dana. At hindi yan mangyayari kung hindi dahil sa matatag na misyon at bisyon ng ating kolehiyo. Layunin din na ating kolehiyo ay gawin tayo mga champs. Critical and creative thinkers, humane persons, active members of their community, models of integrity, proud to be Filipinos, and seekers of knowledge. Ngayon naman, narito ang mga programa ang pwede ninyong kunin sa ating kolehiyo. Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English. Bachelor of Elementary Education at Bachelor of Special Needs Education Generalist Track. Tama, Dana, at meron din BPED, Sports Science, at Fusion and Dietetics. O di ba? hindi lang education na meron sa ating kolehiyo. Meron din sports, nutrition, at dietetics. Kaya halin na kayo at maging warrior teacher, warrior coach, o warrior nutritionist. At ngayon, dupa ko naman tayo sa mga student organizations na nagbibigay kulay sa ating pamamalagi sa kolehiyo. Una dyan ay ang College of Education Student Council. Ang council ay kagapay ng mga eduk students at tulay sa pagitan ng mga estudyante at admin. Isa ba sa organisasyon mula sa professional education ay ang akademya. Ito naman nakapokus sa pangkalatang espesyalidad ng mga estudyante sa ilalim ng professional education. 
ang Student Teacher Organization o STO na organisasyon sa professional education. Ito ay nakapokus sa pagtulong sa mga EDUC students na kumukuha ng field studies at practicum. Kaya, kung interesado kayo sa mga programa na aming nabanggit at kung may katanungan pa kayo tungkol sa kolehiyo ng edukasyon, maaari kayong tumawag sa mga numerong ito. Kaya ano pang iniintay nyo? Tara na! Dito ka na sa EDUC! Hello! Magandang buhay! I am Jaira, a student from the College of Education taking up Bachelor of Science in Nutrition and Dietetics. A lot of you may not know this program, but I assure you that this program will definitely spice up the college life you dream of. Bachelor of Science in Nutrition and Dietetics is a four-year program that develops students to be globally competitive professionals with relevant competencies in three areas of nutrition, hospital, community, and food service, integrating academic and clinical knowledge and skills through excellence in teaching, and the development of proper values of attitudes and in the exercise of the profession to answer the changing needs of the society. Basically, it focuses on nutrition and health of an individual, and nutrition mainly comes from our diet or yung pagkain natin sa araw-araw. Kaya di mawawala yung cooking demos in a nutrition student. Anap mo naman ay more of the science stuff, just like laboratory experiments, you can always experience being a Jimmy Neutron in the laboratory. You can also dream of working in a hospital, and later, you may even pursue medicine. Other than that, if you're aspiring to be a public servant, or even enter the academe, and be a nutrition educator, which you can freely do so, being a license holder. So what are other career opportunities and this have? First, as an r and you can also be a sports nutritionist who works with professional athletes or sports and fitness enthusiasts through providing them with nutritional plans and nutrition-related discipline to achieve athletic goals. We can also be a health and wellness advocate, supporting and promoting health and wellness, and they also assist to further improve knowledge about health and nutrition. Food quality assurance. This focuses on ensuring food safety practices and food quality. Next is being a research nutritionist dietitian. This is if you are interested in advancing the knowledge and application of food and nutrition. Example is entering a job in the OST FNRI. So what are our strong points and accomplishments? We are part of PAN. PAN is Philippine Association of Nutrition. It is the official organization of nutrition and dietetic students that has different chapters coming from schools offering ND. And we are called as the PAN Sigma Chi chapter which is also a recognized student organization and University of the East Manila. As an organization, we aim to implement projects that will help attain proper nutrition, promote healthy practices, and intend to significantly contribute in the field of food and nutrition. To give you some idea, here are some of our projects and activities. First is the Wait a Minute. It is an activity to assess the nutritional stat status with free nutrition counseling by RNDs. Next is the Zumba. It is a fitness activity for health and wellness goals. We also have seminars that focuses on health and nutrition. Culinary tour, which is an exceptional dine and learn experience. 
And lastly is the outreach programs. The Philippine Association of Nutrition annually selects the most outstanding nutrition dietetic student among the different chapters or schools. Our chapter has brought the title for three consecutive years. From the batch 2017, we have Ms. Patricia Luis Cajipe, who also placed as a top nine in the licensure examination for Nutritionist Dietitian 2017. For batch 2018 is Mr. Michael Angela Pascual, and batch 2019 is Mr. Vince Olmido. With this mark of recognition and honor of achievement, the Nutrition and Dietetics Department, as well as the College of Education, continue to shape us and develop students to be globally competitive education leaders and nutrition specialists. With a commitment to function effectively and efficiently as humane persons and as ethical and productive professionals. Having to pursue this program is not just about leading, speaking knowledgeably, or having an in-depth knowledge about health and nutrition, but it also highlights our passion in extending help and care in our community, which then make use of our skills and knowledge to be of great help in making informed decisions in the field of food and nutrition, and most especially to contribute to the responsive health needs of the society. So, it is our pleasure to invite you to be a nutrition and dietetic student and be part of our growing family. Thank you. Thank you, Archie, Dana, Jaira, and Eileen. They are all current students of the UE College of Education. Hope you become a part of our college as well and become a U Education Warrior. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Gresha, and also to Dean Eva Aurora Kaluing. Now, next up, no, let's give a warm welcome to the College of Engineering to be represented by the College Secretary, Professor Jasmine Salazar. Yes, good afternoon, everyone, especially to our senior high school students and their respective parents. I am Jasmine Salazar, the College Secretary of the College of Engineering, Manila. The College of Engineering Manila offers four uh, engineering programs such as civil engineering, computer engineering, electrical engineering, and mechanical engineering. I would like to invite each and every one of you to watch this video presentation to know more highlights of these different four engineering programs, the career opportunities, the level of accreditation and the outstanding performances in the PRC board examination. It is my pleasure once again to invite you to please watch this video presentation. Civil engineering is a broad field of engineering that deals with the planning, construction, and maintenance of fixed structures, or public works, as they are related to earth, water, or civilization and their processes. This is boring. Nobody talks about the juicy stuff like how much will I earn in this profession, what are the job opportunities, or will I finally get a love life in civil engineering? <laughs> Perhaps it's time we talk about it. Right? Ready? Three. Two, one. The economic development of Southeast Asia has been on a rampant growth, which is why the civil engineering profession will be quite an in-demand and a timely career path to choose as they will help establish the onset of our national development for the future. Having said that, this profession is sure to make you successful in life. Moving on to the jobs you can take, the civil engineering profession, as stated earlier, is broad. 
one could choose between five different branches, namely, construction management, transportation, water resources, geotechnical and structural engineering. This course has a lot to offer and a bright future awaits, but, where do you start? Here in UE, the civil engineering department has attained a lot of achievement. Also, the civil engineering students are educated both mentally and physically to develop the needed skills for the professional world. The department has a recognized organization which facilitates tons of fun activities both for academic and extracurricular purposes. An immersive on-the-job training is also included in the curriculum that teaches skills not gained through lectures. There are moments where you'd wonder at the marvel of the world. How beautiful would it be to be able to contribute to its beauty? Join us, for we are the warriors that go... Computer Engineering is a four-year engineering program that embodies the science and technology of design, development, implementation, maintenance and integration of software and hardware components in modern computing systems and computer-controlled equipment. Electrical engineering deals with the generation, transmission, distribution and utilization of electricity. It also deals with the design, operation and protection, maintenance and economics of electrical systems. With emphasis on ethical values to harness economically and safely, the materials and forces of nature for the benefit of society and the environment. Electrical engineering program generates different career opportunities for the electrical engineering students. The graduates of electrical engineering program may go into the following career opportunities. Illumination Engineer, Entrepreneur, Sales Engineer, Distribution Engineer, System Distribution Engineering, Engineering Educator and Researcher, Instrumentation and Control Engineer, Safety Engineer, Maintenance Engineer, Construction and Project Engineer and Electrical Design Inspector. Electrical Engineering graduates can be specialized as Power Engineer in Power System Operation, Power System Protection, Power System Economics and in Power Plants. Electrical engineering graduates can be also specialized as design engineer in advanced power system, advanced electrical designer, machine automation and in process design. 
The University of the East, Manila board exam passing rate based on first-time examiners only for electrical engineering licensure exam is 91%. Its ranking was 28th out of 151 universities in the Philippines based on the four board exams. The University of the East, College of Engineering, Electrical Engineering Department was level 1 accredited by Philippine Association of Colleges and Universities Commission on Accreditation from September 2015 to September 2018. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video presentation and it helped you to decide on what particular program in the College of Engineering that you wanted to pursue, whether you wanted to be a civil engineer, computer engineer, electrical engineer, or mechanical engineer. Please do not hesitate to ask questions to be entertained during the open forum or don't hesitate to email me at jasmine.salazar at ue.edu.eh. Together with Dean Florante Magnaye, Associate Dean Darwin Alpiste, we are very much glad and happy to welcome you to the College of Engineering Manila and be an engineering warrior. Thank you so much.
Welcome to College of Fine Arts, Architecture and Design, where students can develop professional art knowledge and skills in both traditional and digital form. Here, we give students the chance for their potential to be fully developed and to expand their creativity and knowledge on visual arts. We aim to implement the necessary knowledge on the fundamentals and process of creating visual arts students for them to apply what they comprehend, making it possible for their aspirations to be their future profession. The College of Fine Arts, Architecture and Design was established in 1964 and is located in the TYK building at University of the East Caloacan campus. We offer specialized fields in visual communication, painting, and multimedia arts, providing the necessary facilities and materials for students to hone their artistic skills. BFABC, or Bachelor of Fine Arts, major in visual communication. The program enables students to master basic tools and techniques for the visualization of concepts, to formulate new artistic expressions, and to incorporate new media into the innovative realization of art and design projects. Graduates of this course can be advertising artists, animators, art directors, fashion designers, graphic designers, layout artists, photographers, sculptors, studio artists, and visual developers. BFAPT, or Bachelor of Fine Arts major in Painting. The students of this program will explore a variety of media and studio techniques that will prepare them for professional integration in the arts. Art Director, Art Educators, Art Restoration Specialists, Costume Designers, Illustrator, Independent Curator, Installation Artist, Tattoo Artist, Textile Designer, and Visual Developers are among the careers of the graduates of this course. BMMA, or Bachelor of Arts in Multimedia, a new degree program that allows students to study different approaches to multimedia applications and reinforces innovative thinking in the design and production of multimedia projects. Work opportunities for this program are 2D and 3D animator, art director, creative director, game environment designers, graphic designer, photographers, production designers, special effect artists, video editors, and web designers. CFAD through the years have shown excellence in honing the student skills and bringing them closer to their dream profession. Here are some alumni who have exhibited a great competence and mastery in visual arts. Fernando Sena. He is considered as the father of Philippine Art Workshop. He is an all-around painter who shares his talent and knowledge to those who wish to learn. Romulo Galicano a multi-awarded artist who had numerous one-man shows and has been invited as a judge to several competitions. Max Balatbat He is known for architectural abstraction. He was part of the Philippinism European Solo Exhibition last 2013, where he exhibited in three European cities as Philippine representative. Richard Soriano Legaspi he is a professor at the UE College of Fine Arts, Architecture and Design and a filmmaker who's known for his Paano Ko Sasabihin in 2009, Kinulayang Kiti also in 2009, and Maninaya in 2011. Gas Albor, a painter and sculptor known for his minimalist abstraction works and has been a stalwart of the Philippine art scene since the 1970s. Lao Lian Ben. He is a Filipino, Asian modern and contemporary painter, one of the pioneers in the art of assembling in the Philippines. Sofronio Ilanan Mendoza. He is best known for landscape, seascape, still life, and interior scene painting, a multi awarded legendary artist. Nico Pelaez. He is known for being the first Filipino Vance artist. 
he won the Vance Asia Custom Culture 2018 competition and had the opportunity to collaborate with the brand. One of the focuses of the college is to give the students a community where everyone can collaborate and meet other artists, share ideas and concepts, and widen their knowledge regarding their chosen career. The college has been holding various events that are carefully designed to further expand their creative thinking and skills that will play a vital role in the future. In this 2021, we all proudly present to you the newest part of the institution to make your art experience in the University of the East Kalaokan richer and immensely exciting. The Gallery It is a creative space for students to curate shows and exhibit their works. An opportunity for you and for those who admire art to be together in an event that may lead to a better understanding of an artwork or what is being presented gives you a chance to promote your creations and artworks to others and art dealers. A space for recognition of the different forms, presentations, and techniques of artwork to the benefit of both artists and those present at the event. It is in the topmost priority of the College of Fine Arts, Architecture and Design to further develop and enhance the artistic potential of the students to the fullest, to produce future-ready and goal-oriented individuals, to keep up with the ever-merging and globalized society. Together, let us explore the beauty of art and make learning interactive, meaningful, and lasting. I'm so sorry before po, uh, I formally introduce our representative from the College of Fine Arts. Let me just give a little bit of intro. What you have watched a while ago is the AVP coming from the College of Fine Arts and Architecture and Design from UE Kalookan, our, uh, uh, our another campus of the University of the East. And to present uh, their programs is none other then uh, Professor Rachel Ann Valbuena. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon to our senior high school students and to our parents. To our, uh, to our parents. <laughs> so um, we already know the, uh, what will be the career after graduation. So the next is um, the first thing you should know, Muna, is to assess yourself. What is your interest and passion. Dito na papasok yung why question. So why? Why architecture? Why interior design? Why painting? Or why BMMA? So, next slide please. Why ar architecture? I'm sorry po. Yung, yeah. So why architecture? So I'm just going to make it fast kasi uh, I only have two minutes. So why ar architecture? If you are into um, structure, na pag lumabas ka, and you're fascinated with the structures, infrastructures, and then also the design of the exterior, um, architecture is the best fit program for you. So we have, I mean, you're good. In, actually, actually, kahit hindi ka good in, kahit hindi ganun ka good yung drawing skills mo, kasi, again, nahuhon naman siya and nadedevelop. So, ang pinaka-importante sa lahat naman is you have the interest in the site. So um, the best thing also in architecture is that eventually, um, if you want to travel, of course, kasi nga, when it comes to architecture is that you have to um, check mga ocular. So ocular inspections, you, know, you need to travel. So, and do you, you, sorry, do you consider yourself imaginative? So again, architecture is for you. The next naman is why interior? So if, Tapos ka na sa exterior. Naman, ngayon naman, if you are into um, the spaces inside ng mga um, structure, and then you have, um, you're very uh, detail-oriented, and you have eye for color and patterns, um, interior design is for you. Um, if you are into um, you making space aesthetically beautiful, 
and then um, you you want to make use of spaces you're putting the elements together inside a space this is for you the next one is next po. next slide please why visual communication? This is a very in-demand industry. So this is one of the highest paid industry ngayon. So everywhere, anywhere you look, there is visual communication. It's, it's, kahit ma below the line or above the line yan, merong visual communication. There, are, I mean, the logos, anywhere you look. Kasi even um, I mean, uh, the billboards or even the packaging of your uh, the food that you eat, Lahat yan merong um, visual communication. So if you're below the line or above the line, and then you're very keen to even the logos or small details, visual communication is for you. So visual communication by the definition is the practice of graphically represent, representing information to efficiently and effectively create meaning. So if you're more into marketing, yung mga marketing materials, yan. Actually, medyo mas broad ang visual communication. Eh. So... Visual communication is for you. Gana. So the next naman po is sorry, painting. Why painting? This is the hardcore fine arts. So bakit siya hardcore fine arts? This is, uh, dito talaga masasabi na ikaw ay, uh, ito yung traditional fine arts. If you are more into um, creating artworks using the traditional medium such as um, pay, um, acrylic, um, oil paints, or if you want to be the next Fernando Amorsolo, the next Van Gogh, the next um, Ben Cab. So, painting um, program is for you, or the one that fits you. Yeah, so if you hardcore fine arts. Next is, why multimedia arts? This is uh, our newest program. Um, if you naman, sorry, if you are into um, technology and then if you're into to the animation, anything that because it's a visual communication, mostly because it's still. But in multimedia arts, you this is more on um uh moving graphics, uh design or digital artworks. If you're into um new media technology, uh, and also if you're into anything that is uh, that has movement and also user interface and user experience, dito ka naman sa multimedia art. Next po. Okay, so now, why UEC FAD? The goal of the college is uh, it aims to provide quality art and design education program in visual communication, painting, multimedia arts, architecture, and interior design. So the college is only dedicated to produce top-rated artists yan, and designers in both national and international creative arenas. Next slide, next slide please. So the... Um, Dean Dona Marsolo, sabi nga niya, is we are very confident to develop professionals in the visual arts, painting, architecture, interior design. Learners are nurtured in theory and practice. So not only theory, but we make sure na ano, uh, our students will um, gain knowledge, practical knowledge, and to provide them the competency required of their art and also that actually needed in the industry. So. Next po. So, yun nga yung claim nga ng aming dean that College of Fine Arts Architecture and Design is the house of winners. So, uh, ito yung mga recent winners namin. We have Michael, actually, mga alumni namin na nag uh, bag ng mga prizes sa iba't ibang lugar, international and local. We have Michael Garcia Villagante, who just won the highest award in Florence. So he is an advertising major na ngayon ay visual communication na. So next po, he also won during his younger years, eh, he won the grand prize for Metro Bank Art and Design Excellence. So ang masasabi ko po dyan is when it comes to the major competition, especially in fine arts, hindi po nawawala ang 
CFAT or UE CFAT, ang UE. So, hindi man lang, kung hindi man maging grand prize, lagi pong placer ang mga estudyante natin. Next po. So, also, recent lang po ito, uh, 2021 awardee si Mr. Ariosto Del Bagtas. Uh, he won the Metrobank, sorry, Metrobank Art and Design Excellence May 2021 and also won the GSIS first prize um, for acrylic and oil din po. So he is actually an interior design major student. So, hindi lang sila minsan very broad nga ang fine arts na kahit hindi yun yung pinaka-major nila pero pwede kasi silang sumali sa iba't ibang um, tawag dun sa iba't ibang uh, tag dito, mediums ng mga, ng mga competition. So, next po. Then we have our one of our mentors, one of our faculty, Professor Richard Legaspi. He was recognized at Film Times Film Tessor in Malaysia uh, for his short film. Also, he won the, uh, the Cinemalaya for his film uh, Ambula, sorry, Ambulansha. And um, also, he did some mainstream um, films. So, marami siyang napalunuan. Uh, Doon nasasabi na very competent yung faculty natin ng CFAT. Yan po. Next po. And then, ito po, pinaka-recent, um, third place uh, for, I think this one is for sculpture tour. Um, Miss Eliza Hodila won the third place for the sculpture category. So the 44th, sorry, 54th. Shell National Student Art Competition. So, there are lots of ano, major competition na laging sinasalihan natin. And nagkakaroon tayo ng place and nananalo. You have GSIS, Metrobank, um, what else? Um, Shell. So, marami pa po, lalo dati. So, ang ginagawa nga na lang is parang every time na lang po na is napapagod na lang nga sila na ano, paka, yuin na naman, yuin na naman. And this attest to na kung gano'n ka in demand yung mga graduates natin. I remember receiving a lot of invitations for job offerings and also para dun sa mga graduates natin. I remember receiving an email from LB Post because they want a graduate from our college. Yan, uh, kailangan naghahanap sila ng mga artisan from our college. So next po, then, recently, um, UAC FAD attains 91.67% passing rate for architecture licensure examination. This was last January 21 and 23. And also, we are granted the level 2 accreditation for two of our programs for visual communication, I'm sorry, for advertising na ngayon na visual communication na and painting program. Next po. So what's new? What's new in CFAT? So last September 28, we had the inauguration of the Chua King ha Galleries. So the Chua King ha is the um, white cube of Kamanaba. Ito yung sinasabi natin, white cube of Kamanaba. Kasi nga, before, we only have um, yung aming mga hallways. Doon na nilalagay namin yung exhibition. Now, we have a massive space where students can um, exhibit their works can do um, installation art, performance art. So we already have a massive space where you can do their classes also, copy um, the works of the masters, and then can invite alumni to do their exhibition there. So now, yeah, we have a space and like before. So yeah, so that is also we're inviting you, if ever, Padina, you can also um, visit the Chua Kingha Galleries, located at the fifth floor of PYK. Next po. And to know more about CFAG, we have our, created our own website. It's www.uecfag.com. You can find all about the programs, different pro programs, sorry, programs. And then we also have, um, you can find it there, yung mga recognized student organization, uh, the administration, uh, the faculties, we also have that. Um, we also have 
uh, the featured artists, featured artworks, and the online exhibitions. Yan. And also, kung inyo yung mga, nangya, ay, mga online exhibition na, na, na feature namin no um, inauguration. Yan. Then, you can also, if you have questions, you can email us at cvad dot cal at ue dot edu dot ph or you can call us at eighty six seven four five seven two local five zero four. Sometimes I receive calls from um, mga parents who are asking for advice kung which program to to um to pursue yung mga anak nila. And sometimes kami sa they visit us and then they ask for ano eh, um yung advice. So I have to ask first the student kung ano yung interest niya para malaman kung ano best fit for the student. Then, last po. Next po. So, again, so you have to know your passion kasi sabi nila eh, before that, um, you have to work on your passion eh. Sabi niya, parang, pero ang mauna muna is have, you have to know your passion. Then you will be good at with your passion. You will do best with your passion, then you can create your future. So again, um, earlier today, now a, we welcome you to the College of Fine Arts, Architecture and Design and see you next semester. So thank you so much. Thank you, Professor Valbuena and to the whole CFAD headed by Dean Don Amorsolo. Now, are you interested in pursuing a health allied course for college? So if your answer is yes, listen up to the UE Ramon Magsaysay Memorial Medical Center Incorporated to tell us more about it and their program and admission procedures. Let's welcome Dean of the Dean of the College of Nursing, Dean Betty Merit, and UERM MMCI Head of Admissions Office, Ms. Christina M. Ehersito. Hello, good afternoon. You can hear me? Yes, Dean, good afternoon. Yes. Thank you for this invitation. This is Dean, Deputy Merit of the UE, Ramon Magsaysay Memorial Medical College of Nursing. Wow, I have been listening to all of the different programs and I can just imagine students intently listening and trying to find out what their passion is. I like the last presenter. Wow, our, our presenter said, spoke of passion, what passion do you have? So, and so with nursing too, we speak of passion as well. What I will talk about is what does it take to be in the health profession? Particularly, what does it take to be a nurse? My dear students, I was two years younger your age when I was also in a situation where you are here now and I didn't know exactly what I wanted. I wanted so many things. And my mother looking at me, she said, you know what, Anakto, you can be anything, but you know what? You go into nursing, you be a nurse. I went into nursing. And because there was so much in the wisdom of my mother, perhaps, that there was something she was seeing in me that if I would become a nurse, I would really become the person that I am. And true enough, when I listened to her and she said, you know what? I know you like to be a doctor. I know you like to be a teacher. But what am I saying? You become a nurse. You know what Anna she said? And I listened to her. If you become a nurse, you develop yourself holistically. And I listened to her. And she said, you know, if you become a nurse, you will become a better mother. You will become a better wife. Oh, goodness gracious. I was very young then. And I said, I will become a mother, I will become a better wife, so I'm going to have a boyfriend. That excited me. To cut this story short, I went into nursing. I went into nursing because I listened to my mother, 
Plus, I said, there was something also, a calling of wanting to wear the white uniform, being in the hospital, going to the rush, helping the patients get well, things like those. I listened to my teachers. And you know what the teacher said? Class, welcome to the nursing profession. Your laboratory will be yourself. Your laboratory will be out there. And I listen very intently. What am I saying, my dear students? I am saying that to be in the health profession is a very practical course. Practical in this because health is something that is of concern to everyone here. And because of that, when I listened to my teacher, I said, oh, it is me she's talking about. She's talking about me body. She's talking about me mind. She's talking about my emotions and my relating with other people. She's talking about family, community. And so I listened more <clears throat> intently. What I am saying is in becoming a nurse, becoming a nurse is involving yourself, body, mind, and spirit. We know very well what it takes to be a nurse. We see nurses every day. We go to health facilities, we go to hospitals, we see drama in this COVID experience. We saw many nurses, many tired nurses, many crying nurses. Why? Because they cannot give up the vocation. They cannot give up the responsibility. They cannot give up a duty, which is to serve. Yes, if one becomes a nurse, it is a calling. It is a profession, yes. It is almost a vocation. It is a vocation to serve. It takes a nurse to take care of a patient, body, mind, and spirit, <clears throat> holistically. I saw very many presentations here. How very enticing to go into the technology world. How very enticing to go. So very effects of many trauma and so forth and so on. That is happening in nursing. High technology healthcare is happening here. So if you visit a patient, you see all kinds of tubes. You hear all kinds of machines and you go through a lot of diagnostics. It is there where nurses play a role. One thing that we are so very happy about is when we say nursing is high tech, getting to be high tech, but we never forget that nursing is also high touch. We don't forget that at the line, at the end of the line, there is a human being. There is a person. That human being may be your mother. That human being may be a brother, a sister, who is most important in the whole technological world. That is the business of the nurse, to take care of a human being. And so many dear students, if you have that passion to want to take care of a human being, you want to help, you want to relate, you want to understand, you want to take care with your hands, minister with your hands, you want to listen to people's problems, you want to assist the doctor, you want to work with other members so they help them. In other words, if you want to see a sick person kept well. That is nursing. A nurse puts all many actions together. A nurse is always in the middle of action because it is the nurse who manages the health care. Three words I wish to tell my students. I wish to tell you if you have this and if you remember this and this is something that you can really consider. Three Latin words. Manus caput cor. What does it mean? Manus, the hands of the nurse. The nurse ministers to a person. Maybe this person is a healthy person, like a mother delivering, for example, or like a baby, for example, in a well baby clinic. Ministers with the hands, take care of the patient. And that is why we say, Nursing is an art. It is the art of assisting a patient take care of himself. Maybe take a bath, maybe go to the bathroom, maybe eat, maybe sleep, 
maybe do activities of daily living. That is the art. Anybody can do that for that matter. It's very true. You can get somebody who you can pay, for example, and to give, take care of a person. Yes, maybe. You may not need a professional nurse. We don't need professional nurses. We're doing the same things anyway. But that is not the point. We're taking care of a human being. And when we take care of the human being, there is a relationship. There is a human touch somehow. There is touch somehow that is healing. It is there where nursing and art comes very handy. Why do we go to a university? Yes, because nursing is a science as well. Science as well means that we have to have knowledge of microbiology, biology, um, parasitology, anatomy and physiology, nutrition, all those things. Pathophysiology of health and illness. These are the things that come in our kaput, which is the head. And to put the hands and the head together is the heart, which is the heart of caring. That is the nurse, manus caput core. If you have the heart to care, if you are interested to understand something about health and illness, and if you have somehow wanting to help to minister with your hands, then you are for nursing. What are the job opportunities? So many things. You can be a direct provider. You can be a nurse leader. You can be a researcher. You can be in any office for that matter that has something to do with health services. You can even be employed abroad, but work here in the Philippines. That is now the wisdom and that is now the beauty of e-internet or uh, internet communications technology. Because with that, there is something as telehealth nursing, telehealth medicine. Even in legislation, we hear of nurses becoming congressmen. Why? Because there is health policy. We have hear of nurses wanting to become a senator. Yes, because nurses are also in health policy, especially in primary health care. And so my dear students, what am I saying here? When you become a nurse, you will take care of yourself. You will take care of your family. You take care of people around you. You take care of community. When you become a nurse, it is very practical because from womb to death, there is health. From womb to death, at some time, we get sick and we need people some out there to care for us. The nurse comes at the center of health care. And not only that, what I have been very thankful about is my being a nurse has given me value and meaning in the things I do. And I think that is the heart of nursing, assisting our clients to find value in life and meaning, whether this would be health and illness. So, my dear students, you see here, and Mom Christine is going to assist me go through these slides very fast. The Bachelor of Science in the nursing program, well, we have come up with the requirements of the Commission on Higher Education. Next slide, please. You will see in this slide somehow, there is our medical center. It is our, along Aurora Boulevard. And these are our learning laboratories. Yeah, we have a mini hospital right here in our college. Yes, we see e-learning here. We do virtual uh, laboratory nursing skills experience. And we have high fidelity mannequins. We don't have maybe actual patients for now because of the limited face-to-face, -face, but we have these high models mannequins where uh, this can be very of uh, much help in our learning. See, these are the nurses in action somehow. This is the accreditation we get from the Commission on Higher Education. Yeah, and looking at the performance of our students, of our graduates, next slide, please. We are happy to tell you that somehow our graduates perform well in the board exams. Next slide, please. 
And so we see 100% in the recent board exam. Not only that, fourth placer in the board exam. Next slide, please. There are also other and many more in the more recent ones with a third placer and a sixth placer and 95% passing in the board exam. We have leaders also. Next slide, please. We're happy to tell you that. Members of the Board of Nursing, a member of the Board of Nursing now is a graduate of UERP. A nurse scientist of the University of the Philippines took doctoral program, master's program of the, is a graduate in the basic program of UERP. And not only that, next is like, please, even abroad, these are just a few, maybe one or two, next is like, please, that our graduates have performed and they have become nurse leaders in other countries. Other countries. We're so very happy of our projects. Now, Mom Christine will tell you more about what the other programs we have here at the UERM Medical Center. Thank you, Dean Merritt. Good afternoon to all uh, the students and uh, our dear parents. I am Christina Aversito. I am uh, the head of the Office of the Admissions, and I'm here to briefly uh, discuss the admissions procedure. Um, let me start by sharing with you the courses that we offer. And uh, these are uh, PS Physical Therapy, PS Prosthetics and Orthotics, PS Medical Technology, PS Nursing. Um, here are the requirements. Um, first, you have to log into our website. Uh, it's www.uerm.edu.ph. You have to accomplish the application form online. Make sure to print it out and affix your signature. And you may submit uh, the requirements listed uh, also in our website all scanned copies and um, next slide please the admissions will send you an email to acknowledge the receipt of all your documents and we will also uh, give instructions on how to pay for the application fee upon uh, upon confirmation expect an email from our cashier so for applicants for the College of Nursing, um, you will receive an email uh, regarding the interview. So you have to email us back to confirm your availability for the scheduled uh, interview. Next slide, please. All the announcements uh, for your application will be posted in the individual applicants portal. Uh, you'll be notified via text or call and all the results and updates status of your app uh, status of your application will be uh, will be posted in your applicants portal um, upon placing of the reservation the advice will also be uh, posted in the portal for the schedule of enrollment next slide please so the application period for uh, school year 2022-2023 uh, started last November 22, and uh, the deadline will be on July 15, 2020. Um, if you have any questions regarding uh, application and admission, you may feel free to call us uh, at 8715-0861 local 205 or our direct line 825 uh, 825-4119. You may also send us an email. Uh, our email address is admission at uerm.edu.ph. Our office is open from Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So with this, um, also before I go, I would like to also tell all the students that for this school year, we won't have any entrance exam. Um, 
it will all be based on the grades of the applicants for uh, all the grades for grades 9, 10, and 11. Um, if you have any questions, you may call us or send us an email. So uh, with this career exploration, we do hope to hear from you really soon. Um, before we go, I would like to share uh, a video of uh, our university. Thank you so much and have a great day ahead.
Thank you very much to Dean Merritt of the College of Nursing. Thank you very much, ma'am. And to Mrs. Hersito of the UERM MMCI Admissions Office for providing us with information on the admissions pro process. Now they will be joining us later in the open forum. So for students who have questions, please feel free to send them in our YouTube live comment section and in our Zoom chat box. All right. For announcements regarding admissions in UE Manila, please allow me to read some important information from our admissions office. The different colleges have clearly presented the various programs that the university offers, including the career opportunities that you may pursue once you graduate from your co uh, chosen course. Now, let us pay close attention to our admissions process for you to be admitted and registered in the degree program of your choice. As a matter of fact, you are literally just a click away from becoming a full-pledged UE Red Warrior. So, listen carefully and take note of the following important details. To begin the online application, visit the UE website, that's www.ue.edu.ph, click Apply Online, and follow the procedures as stated. Since we do not have an ex entrance exam no, for the incoming freshman students for the next school year, you just have to prepare to upload the following your recent 2x2 two two photo, and your grade 11 report card. In the event that your grade 11 report card is not yet available, a screenshot of your grades from your student portal may be submitted. Once you are done with your online application, the admissions office will send an email confirmation and instructions on how you can enroll. The requirements for enrollment are your grade 12 report card and certificate of good moral character, which you can request from our principal's office. It is also important to note, uh, grade 12, note that, that you do not need to get a hard copy of your credentials as our basic education department will help you process your requests and forward them to our admissions office. So no need na po to get the hard copy. It's very easy. Now, for inquiries, you may re reach the admissions office through admission at ue.edu.ph or through the contact numbers 8735-5471, local 398 or 399, or 8735-8577, or for our Globe subscribers, uh, 0906-265-1760, and for Smart subscribers, 09, uh, 0961-568-2179. The admissions office enthusiastically awaits you, senior high school warriors. So join, uh, uh, do it, apply online already. Napakadali lang, one click away talaga. And we would also like to acknowledge the presence of Ms. Susan Agabao and our the director of the admissions office, Director Ruth Palanca, who will also be joining us later during the open forum. Okay, now... This is the time to address your questions sent via our invitation letter and through our Zoom chat box and YouTube live comment section. So without further ado, let us welcome Ms. Diane Rodriguez, the guidance counselor in charge of ABM and sports to facilitate the open forum. Thank you, Ms. Grace. A blessed afternoon to our warrior deans and directors, to our basic education principal, teachers, and staff. Thank you to our warrior grade 12 students and parents for joining us in the exciting world of career in preparation. Before we uh, continue with our open forum, I would like to remind each and every one to make this webinar a safe space for sharing. Let us respect the opinions and integrity of everyone. Thank you so much. Now, for our open forum, we selected the most common and relevant questions in our pre-registration. And we will also address questions in the Zoom and YouTube comment section. So please feel free to type your questions. Okay, so let's begin. The first question is for our Engineering Department College Secretary, Professor Salazar. Ma'am, can an ABM student take a program that is not ABM-related? 
related like engineering? Uh, what does it mean? Uh, is the student asking if a non-STEM graduate can still enroll in engineering sub programs? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, we have a bridging programs. In those four programs in the College of Engineering, the student can enroll even if the student is not a graduate of STEM. So they can still enroll. We have bridging program for civil, computer engineering, electrical, and mechanical engineering for those students who are not graduate of STEM. Thank yes. you so much, ma'am, for that answer and for clarifying. All right, the next question is for Professor Engluna. Hi, ma'am. What are the career opportunities for the chosen field of accountancy? And what are the possible difficulties to be encountered in taking this program? Hi, Ma'am Dayan. I Hi, believe ma that our professor himself, the CPA himself, can answer that. So, Professor Messina is here. Sir, uh, Dr. Sir Luna, Luna, uh, for the account. Uh, Ma'am Divine, so uh, can we repeat the question na lang, Ms. Uh, Diane, please? Sure, sir. Um, the question po is, what are the career opportunities for the chosen field accountancy? Okay. And what so are the possible for, difficulties uh, though po? <laughs> So for career opportunities, you can actually go to the different sectors of accounting, namely uh, public accounting, uh, private or commercial accounting, government accounting, or uh, accounting education. But most of uh, CPA passers you know, would tend to go to public accounting. So joining accounting firms, so yung big four firms natin. So if you are aware, uh, EY, uh, Deloitte, PwC, and PPMG, and then yung counterparts in the Philippines, of course. No? So for public accounting, you have uh, auditing, uh, taxation, or uh, consulting services. For uh, commercial accounting or you are employed as an accountant of a corporation. So your tasks would be more on uh, corporate accounting or financial reporting, and at the same time, assisting management in terms of decision-making, uh, lalo na kapag uh, financial matters. No? For government accounting, yes, you can also join. There are certain... Uh, positions in the government that are only available for uh, CPAs. So if you look at uh, some job postings in government offices, you can see the requirement na CPA or RA 1080. So even though, let's say, you have not taken the uh, civil service examination, as long as you are a certified public accountant, you can join such uh, offices. Then, of course, accounting education, be an instructor or a professor of uh, accounting. But for uh, entry level, I think education hindi pa masyado yan. For uh, obstacles ba ang terminology na ginamit niya, Ma'am Diane? Yes, sir. Obstacles daw po. Okay. Uh, not necessarily obstacles in terms of degree programs. Uh, since for each course naman, you will run through the hoops, din naman, it's a common thing. No? But the conception or misconception na you need to know or dapat magaling ka sa math, ganyan, actually hindi. Kasi accounting is more on analysis. So kung tutuusin your uh, skills in reading comprehension or in a reading, and then analysis would be very uh, important. Because you need to understand the uh, letters first before you can actually deal with the uh, numbers. So, yun. Hindi kailangan na magaling talaga sa math. Kasi yun yung misconception even before. No, I mean, kahit nung nag-join, uh, nung nag-enroll ako nung freshman, nung yung sinasabi nila. Diba? Pero, hindi. 
Thank you. Thank you po, Professor Messina, for clarifying that. No? So, mas, I hope no, yung mga students atin na nakikinig, na interested sa accountancy, marami tayong napulot na information and ideas. Ayan, thank you so much po. All right, so our next question is for Professor Mark Uy. Sir, what are the pros and cons of IT courses? Kamit pala ko. Hi po, magandang hapon. Hi, sir. Um, madami po. For example, for the pros, guys, pag nag-IT or any of the programs ng CCSS, you will take no licensure exam. That's one. Number two, just like what I've said earlier, uh, it can provide you financial security sa inyong future. Third, ito yung favorite ng lahat, work from home. So even before pandemic, ang mga IT talaga naka-work from home. We are not tied with uh, 9 to 5 or 8 to 5 setup. Number four, uh, we have a wide array of choices. So from developing online platforms, designing IT infrastructure, security, database, multimedia, games, lahat halos. And then number five, startup programs. Kung napanood niyo yung sa K-drama na startup, parang ganun din. You can build your own IT product and you can sell it. And then number six, I think, uh, pwede kang makakuha ng job even if you're here tapos ang, ang ang employer mo ay nasa ibang bansa. So, you are earning dollars kung yun ay sa US, US-based or Canada-based or Singapore-based uh, employers. And then, yung cons, tingin ko, um, skills. Kasi when you have the skill, meron kang job placement. So, more skills, more opportunity. So, what I'm trying to say is bawal lang tama. <laughs> Bawa lang tamad. Kasi kailangan mo ding paghirapan. Kasi you have to really learn the skill so that you can be part of the workforce. And uh, to note, technology kasi is ever-changing, di ba? So dapat palagi kang updated, palagi kang natututo. IT is a field of constant learning. And siguro last na, deadlines. So, kung ikaw ay isang taong hirap sa time management, eventually, matututunan mo din naman siya sa college. Huwag mo lang sanang ugaliin na talagang beating the deadline, sobrang daming time na nagpa-procrastinate ka, ganyan. Kasi time management, kahit saan courses, uh, engineering, maniniwala naman sila sa akin, CFAD, nursing, time management talaga is uh, really needed for you to become successful. So, sa IT, puro deadline. So, you have to really manage your time well. Ayun po, Miss Diane. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Mao. Meron pa tayong follow-up question for you, Sir. Ay, meron pa. Opo. Marami po kasi nagtatanong, do you accept students from other tracks and strands? Ah, uh, Opo. Everyone is welcome po from ABM, from STEM, from ICT, from UMS, from GAS, from solid, from liquid, and, 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 all, and all other strands. You are welcome to enroll in any of our programs in CCSS. Thank you, Sir Mao, for your answer. Ayan, You're so welcome guys, po. Thank you, Sir. Ayan, so mga interested no, sa CCSS, they welcome everyone. Ayan. So if you're considering um, programs in CCSS, no, please do check them out. All right, our next question is for Professor Valbuena. Ma'am, how are CFAD courses relevant to the digital age daw po? Professor Balbuena, are you there po? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Po. Ayan, hi ma'am. Sorry po. Okay po. Can you please, um, sorry I didn't get the question po. Opo. Uh, the question ma'am is how are CFAD courses relevant to the digital age? Okay, so actually it's very relevant, especially now, because most of uh, um, the career uh, career na, career na yun is more on digital. For example, uh, for um, especially when it comes to digital design. So uh, you have um, you can pursue um, multimedia arts that's very relevant today. And also you can also um, get a pro I mean pursue a a degree in visual communication because still most of the subjects are digital, digitally inclined. So, yun. So, very relevant naman po yung mga courses natin. Naayon po siya ngayon. Yun po. Yeah, Did I answer so the question po? 
Yes, yes ma'am. Thank you so much you. for your answer. All right. So our next question is for Professor Gresha. Ma'am, how can I be a professional teacher? Good afternoon po. Uh, somebody can be a professional teacher when they uh, enter any education uh, degree. So uh, the College of Education has several degree programs that they can look into. Then after graduation, they can apply to PRC for uh, licensure exam for teachers. Now, uh, if somebody naman graduates with a degree that is non-edu uh, or non-education, then they have to now enter a program called CPE, Certificate uh, in Professional Education. Then they have to earn education units to be able to apply for uh, let sa PRC. And thank you po. Thank you so much, ma'am. Ayan. So, yung mga gusto maging professional teacher, no, please do check our EDUC programs. Okay. Next, we have a question for our friendly admissions officer, Ma'am Susan. Hi, Ma'am Susan. Ayan. So, ang question po natin, what are the scholarships available for incoming freshmen? Okay. Uh, UE offers an entrance scholarship for incoming freshmen. Uh, full scholarship for uh, rank one or valedictorian and partial scholarship or 50% discount for rank two or salutatorian. Um, provided there are at least 50 uh, graduates on their batch. And then may I add also that uh, a minimal discount will be given to UE basic education department graduates on your first enrollment as college freshman to UE. And then also a minimal discount for children of UE alumni, OFW, and employees of Lucifer Group of Companies. Thank you, Po. Ayan. Thank you, ma'am. May follow-up question po tayo sa inyo, ma'am. Um, are there any scholarship grants for students who aim to enroll in the university bukod po sa mga nabanggit? Okay. Uh, we have also the so-called service grant, the athletic service grant, and the cultural service grant. For inquiries, you may contact the PE department for the athletic service grant and the cultural affairs office for the cultural service grant. And then may I add also that the CHED Unipass offers financial assistance to students under the following categories. First priority are those students residing and studying in Caloocan. So kung nakatira po kayo sa, sa Caloocan and at the same time naka-enroll po kayo sa UI Caloocan, then you are under priority one. So for sure, pwede po kayo mabigyan ng financial assistance ng CHED. And then for UI Manila, we are under the priority two. So under the listahanan. Ito po yung list from the DSWD. And then number three is the uh, students who are not part of the listahanan, but they are qualified based on their uh, per capita household income. This is uh, being determined by the uni passport. Okay, that's it po. Thank you, ma'am. Meron po tayong very enthusiastic students na nagtatanong, uh, what are the requirements daw po needed for old students? Uh, what do you mean by uh, old Galing students? po sa ating SHS, ma'am, tapos mag -e enroll daw po sila sa college po natin. Ano daw po ang mga requirements? Okay. Uh, for students coming from our basic education department, there are only three requirements. One, if they're two by two picture, and then Two is the certificate of good moral character. And then the number three is their report card. Yes. Thank you so much, ma'am. Ayan, sa mga interested na nag, gusto na mag-enroll, no? Um, pagka nag-start na tayo, you can prepare your requirements. Tatlong requirements lang, guys, no? So please do take advantage of the benefits. Ayan. Thank you so much po, Ma'am Susan. All right. We have our next question uh, for our representative uh, from the UERM, Ma'am Christina Ahersito. Ma'am, may question po tayo for you. What is the best pre-med course to pursue if I want to be a doctor? Um, actually, 
all of the courses that we are offering here in UERM are all uh, are all uh, undergrad uh, degrees for for the College of Medicine. In fact, um, we are the ones who also process the applications for uh, Doctor of Medicine here in UERM. And um, our university does not require any health allied uh, course or a degree that an applicant has to has to finish before they can apply with uh, UERM. So um, we have previously applicants who earned the degree uh, from engineering or a business course. Um, they apply to uh, for, for the doctor of medicine course that we have here and um, we process them and if they're qualified they get accepted um, we are not um, just limiting it to to all those who have finished a health uh, allied course um, but but of course if you finish a health allied course, it will be a big help for you to cope uh, if, if you're accepted uh, for the uh, doctor of medicine. Thank you, ma'am. Clarify ko lang po kasi may nagtanong po sa Zoom. So it means po that uh, non-STEM graduates can apply in UERM. Tama po? Um, non-STEM uh, graduates can apply uh, to UERM um, if they're willing to go through the bridging program. We have Thank a bridging so pro program for those who are not uh, under the STEM academic strand. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, ma'am, for clarifying that information. Thank you, Po. May I, may I offer an answer to that? Sure, ma'am, Betty. Yes. Uh, it is very helpful, as uh, Mom Christine said, that a health-based profession or a science-based program would come handy in uh, the medical course, like nursing, PT, med tech, all those health-related courses. However, there are science-based courses like nutrition, for example, which also are very important considerations for medicine. But even now in medicine, even information and technology is very important in medicine already because of the advances in medicine. So a broad range of preparation is already very necessary for that. And that is why our college admissions office here are very particular really in trying to look into what are the competencies in their undergrad. And maybe there could be a program to augment medicine. Yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am, for that information. All right, so let's go on uh, with the next. Okay, um, Dr. Aina, uh, may I ask po, is dentistry a good pre-med course in preparation for medicine as well? Um, yes, no. Uh, yes, I think it's a good um, pre-med course also. No? Kasi uh, we also in the college offer subjects, na general subjects that will help them, like general anatomy, general physiology, that will help the students no, uh, when they decided to go further for medical like medicine or like um, med proper no. they are also equipped no, makaka, ano sila, makaka, they can makakasabay sila dun sa other students um, in the medicine so yeah i think it's a good um, pre med course also thank you po dr aina ayan may we ask uh, Dr. Gary D, sir, what are the available pre-med courses in the College of Arts and Sciences? Hello, uh, Diane. Uh, we have the BS Psychology program, right? Uh, it's, it's very suited for those who would want to take up uh, medicine. Uh, during the time that the curriculum was revised, one uh, feature that the program was able to revise is uh, we have included science subjects that would suit them to take 
medicine later on. Yeah, uh, may, 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 may meron na silang genetics, meron mm-hmm. na silang biology, uh, biology and other stuff na ano. And you know, as a matter of fact, maraming mga graduate tayo ng BS Psychology after graduating, they're in UERM taking mm-hmm. up medicine. That's very true. That's very uh, true. Di ba, ma'am? Ayan. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. Pagkatapos po sa amin dito, sa RM sila tumutuloy. And uh, they, they would pass and later on, they would become top-notchers sa, psych- sa psychometrician exam. Tapos later on sa, sa medicine, di ba? Ayan. Especially Ganun ang there preparation. Is there is mental yeah. health. There is mental health psychiatry. Oh, oh. They can go to psychiatry. Yeah. Yeah. Ayan. Thank you so much, ma'am, for that rich discussion. But thank you, Dr. D. Ayan. So let's go to the next question. Again, for Dr. Aina. Dr. Aina, how are the technical skills in dentistry be taught during the pandemic? Uh, sorry, nakamute pala ako. So uh, during the pandemic, no, we the, the college adapted to blended learning. So we have online laboratory sessions uh, inside Canvas, the labsters. Uh, uh, and then we also have virtual clinics. So these uh, online laboratory sessions and virtual clinics are supervised by the subject teachers and the um, clinical supervisors like me. No, so uh, and also with the virtual clinics, we have simulations because right now we still um, not able to go to um, live patients. So we have simulations, we have phantom heads, we have the model of the oral cavity. And um, we are slowly, you no, know, slowly and going back safely to limited face-to-face in the clinics this February. So we are trying to um, let the students go back little by little and hopefully you no, know, we can all go back to face-to-face, especially with um, dentistry, because it's really hard, you no, know, um, and challenging for the students. But I know, uh, with I've noticed with my students, they're really trying their best to to really adapt to the new normal. So yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Aina, for answering. Ayan. So we have the same question po for Professor Salazar. Ma'am Jazz, ma'am, how are the laboratory subjects and skills in engineering taught during the pandemic daw po? Okay, we all know that uh, uh, we adapted the uh, online learning system during the start of the pandemic and it's very challenging to each and every one of us especially for those faculty members handling laboratory classes but knowing our faculty members being very resourceful and competent enough they're doing the simulation activities for lab- in conducting laboratory classes uh, or sometimes they're doing the they're taking video recording videos and then uh, show it to the student during the conduct of the laboratory classes so that's how resourceful our faculty members in the college of engineering so they find ways on how to uh, give to the students the right uh, uh, activities that they need to learn for them to achieve the outcomes for that particular subject Thank you so much, Ma'am Jazz. All right. So we have a very interesting question for Dr. D. Dr. D, sir, how do I know if I will enjoy my future job or not? Uh, it's more of the preparation, right? Uh, whether you enjoy it or not, it's like to be able to do the job as if it, it, it would become natural to you. Yung pag ginagawa mo yung trabaho mo, it's natural, hindi ka na pressure na enjoy mo because you know what you're going to be doing. Right? Dito ngayon, it's where you, you would come in. Meron tayong lobster for laboratories. Yung ating mga faculty competent, everything is being prepared. Ang ating curriculum is updated and it's timely. Ang maganda dyan, we are preparing you to be an expert in the field. Right? We are preparing you to become accountants, we're preparing you to become psychometricians, we're preparing you to become yung kaninang pinaresent namin lahat. We are preparing you so that when it's time for you to do the job, 
it's more or less that you have been very much acquainted to it. Alam mo yung alam mo na yung ginagawa mo, alam mo yung mga procedures, alam mo yung mga eh, wag yung wag kayong matatakot sa mga faculty minsan. Sasabihin niyo terror. Hindi. Tinuturuan ka ako anong tama. Para pag nasa trabaho ka na and you are able to recognize ito yung tinuturo sa amin sa UI noon. Gamay ko, gamay ko na to. Alam na alam ko na ito. And then you would tell yourself parang naglalaro lang ako. Right? Parang naglalaro na ako kasi have already been enjoying kasi sanay na sanay na sanay na sanay ka nang gawin yung craft na pinasok mo. So whatever course you're going to be choosing in, in, in the University of the East, mag-engineering ka talagang may simulation. Sa dentistry, may simulation. Sa psychology, may simulation. Sa HRM, may, may kitchen simulation. Yung mga sciences, naka-lobster sila. Meron pa yung canvas even before the pandemic came in. Sanay na sanay ko na, gamay na gamay mo yan, you go to work, and you start to enjoy. Right? That's one consideration that you have to look into. You're enjoying what you're doing. And because of that, you know that you are in the right career. Bakit? Nung, nung, nung nasa high school ka, meron tayo mga career orientation. Ito, may mga career exploration, may mga test na pinigay sa inyo. Pagpasok nyo ng college, meron ulit pinigay sa To ensure that the line of career that you're able to go through is correct. Na-enjoy mo siya lahat. Later on, yung mga side structures yan, salary, yung mga it would come. Susunod na lang yan. Kasi makikita na nag excel ka. And mind you, mind you, sa job street, sa mga job searching sites, napakataas ng ranking ng University of the East. Gustong gusto ng mga companies ang mga graduate ng UI. Why? Nai-enjoy nila ang trabaho, expert sila, alam nila paano ang ginagawa, and they are very much into the idea of the grit and the capability to be self-motivated. Saan ka pa? Hindi mag-UI ka na. <laughs> That's true. I support oh. that. Very true. <laughs> yes. Love your answer, sir. <laughs> Nakaredy kayo. Oo. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you po. Warrior na warrior talaga. Ayan. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. D. Thank you, Dan. Okay po. Alright. So, our last question po is for Ma'am Susan. Ma'am Susan, pasensya na po. Medyo marami tayong tanong from YouTube at saka sa Zoom. So, yung first question po, um, is there a need for us, for SHS graduate of UE to take the entrance examination for college freshmen? Mm-hmm. Um, for the incoming school year, school year 22-23, the entrance examination is waived, so there will be no more entrance test for UE and non-UE graduates. Ayan. Thank you so much, ma'am. Meron pa pong tanong from Zoom. Uh, very excited na po yata yung student natin. When is the best date we can apply for college? The soonest possible time po. Uh, wow. As early as last year, open na po yung online application natin, so the earlier, the better po. Now na. Ayan, yes, now, now na. na. <laughs> Ayan, now thank na. you. Now na talaga, ma'am. <laughs> Opo. <laughs> Ayan, our last question na po, ma'am Susan, from our YouTube, ano naman, viewers. Um, I have already applied to UE, but I would like to change my course. Is it possible? Yes, pwede, pwede po. Pwede, pwede po. Ayan. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your answers. So, guys, ano pang inaantay natin? No? Now na, mag-enroll na tayo. Uh-huh. No? And being a warrior is just one click away. Ayan. So, again, thank you so much po to all our speakers for addressing the questions of our students. And we are very grateful to our warrior senior high school students and parents for your questions. So, that's all the time we have for our open forum. Back to you, Miss Grace. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Diane. Sabi nga ni Dean Betty Merritt, now na. Now so, na. this is the right time. Yes. Mag-apply na. Yes. And thank you very much, Sir D. I really love your answer because yes. we are also, I am personally, in a, a product of UE, a product of the College of Arts and Sciences, BSI. Yes. So, kita niyo naman how happy ang aming mga faces. No? Hindi uh, malulungkot, masasaya kami lagi. No? Because uh, we love UE. Okay, so much. All right. Hey, thank may you I very say much. one last statement, if I may? Sure. Oh, you know problem. what? I love our president, President Garcia. 
you know, she is very supportive. She's very open and she is very, wow, very broad in her thinking. And we should take advantage of that. And Yui, Yui is very lucky to have her. Yes, I second that, ma'am. Thank you very much, Dean. So again, now na. Now na. Okay. Now, thank you to our present presenters for enthusiastically answering the queries of our students and parents. So, before we end, let us all welcome and listen to our dear principal in the Basic Education Department, Dr. Nieva J. Disipolo, for her closing remarks. Thank you very much, Mom Grace. How are you, Senior High School Warriors? Are you still with us? Okay, so to Director Nila Orea and our hardworking counselors of the Guidance and uh, Career Service Office, to the deans and university officials, our faculty members and presenters from different colleges, our very own working, hardworking team in basic ed. Of course, we have our coordinators, our teachers, and our dear parents and most especially to our dear senior high school students. Good afternoon. First of all, dear students, uh, let's thank Director Nila Orea and our hardworking counselors for organizing this activity for you. And uh, you know, my dear uh, Batch 2022 students, you are the most resilient students of this decade. Why? because you have experienced COVID. COVID-19, earthquakes, typhoons, uh, ano pa mga na-experience in yung mga calamities, oh? but still, you are here striving and achieving. That is this, this, the warrior spirit, the true warrior spirit. Thank you for being with the UE Senior High School for two years. And some of you who were also from the junior high school for eight years, okay, from grade school, that is 12 years. Thank you for trusting the University of the East Basic Education Department to be your home. And my dear students, there are bigger and much more higher opportunities in our UE colleges. We have proven this time and time again. And we have produced thousands of top touchers, professionals, businessmen, entrepreneurs, and tycoons who are well placed, not only in this country, but also abroad. You can see them in our FB pages. The University of the East is perhaps the highest producer of champions. Uh, uh, sa area lang ng ano, champ, daming champions, no? athletics, leaders, and also top notchers for the past 75 years. So, why risk your future outside of UE? Now, researchers reveal that professionals who came from our colleges are competent, they are resilient, they are flexible, they are willing to be trained, they are hardworking, patient, they rose from the ranks, loyal to the institution, and output-oriented. That is the result of our trainings, not only in academics, but also in our multiple intelligence clubs, from basic ed to UE colleges. So again, why risk your future outside of UE? We are true to our mission of molding the youth from kinder to career, because we want you to be successful for the youth, country, and God. So dear students, your success is our success. So enroll now, sabi nga ni ma'am, ni Dean, enroll now. Uh, good afternoon once again, and God bless us all. Thank you very much, Dr. Disipolo, and we're very happy to see you. Uh, very young looking and uh, very healthy. So it's so nice to see you, ma'am. Uh, all right. So thank you for the encouraging message no, for our students and, of course, for our parents. No? Truly, 
UE graduates are top caliber graduates. Okay? So again, ulitin ko na, sayad na sayad na yung sinasabi ni Dean. Now na. All right. Okay, so just to recap, the link for our career exploration activity evaluation will be posted in the comment section of this live stream and in UE Manila GCCSO Facebook page in a little while. You may also scan the QR code found on your screens. So for our grade 12 students and parents who are viewing right now, please share with us your feedback on our program. We would also like to remind our grade 12 students that your activity evaluation serves as a record of your attendance for today. Now, all grade 12 students are also invited to accept our Google Classroom invitation. Access your, Google, uh, your guidance Google Classroom with the class code XP7PXPC and explore the self-paced career guidance activity for you. In this program, you will be learning about the different curriculum exits, career planning activities, and skills needed in the workplace, which are very essential in your career preparation. The self-paced activities will be open for access until February 28, 2022. So take this wonderful opportunity to learn and be career ready. Now, to learn more about our target college degree programs, visit visit our official UE website, that's www.ue.edu.ph. You can also find our email directory for schools offices for your specific concerns. Now keep yourselves, uh, yourselves updated and informed of the latest news, happenings, and activities for you by following our different social media platforms. In Facebook, we have University of the East. In Twitter, we have at UNIV. East and Instagram at University of the East. To know more about our guidance activities for you, please don't forget to follow us on, G, uh, on our GCCSOF uh, Facebook page and here in our YouTube channel. For other uh, questions, concerns, and counseling queries, please send us an email at guidance at ue.edu.ph. As we come to the end of the program, please join me in singing with pride and honor the UE hymn. Amantasan ka naming mahal, ilaw sa kailan, buhay lakas punong damal, pamantasan ka ng bayan, ang pangalan mo. dear students, parents, presenters, and school officials for joining us here in Zoom and in our YouTube live streaming. For the Zoom participants, the students and presenters, may we request you to stay for a, a bit while no? uh, after our live stream for a photo opportunity. So thank you very much. And with that, let us continue to be safe and healthy in mind, body, and spirit. To all our grade 12 senior high school warriors, see you again next year to where your tomorrow begins in the East, the University of the East. Bye. Thank you.